Antonio, what's the story of how PYB came into your life? Um, it started, I want to say, January 8th, 2016. Um, I was dropped from my university. And I want to say that next Monday, I met Kenny Holzman. <clears throat> and he told me basically what PYB was. And um, I was all for it. You know, I did this program in high school called Leadership Scholars where we went in and we mentored inner city kids. Um, but this was just like for college. Like it didn't even involve something I loved. Like basketball I wasn't even a part of it. So when he said that like basketball was like a big part of it, um, I knew from then like I just wanted to jump on board. You know, I wanted to be a part of it. And just at that moment, I just needed something to get me out the house. Um, I didn't know like how it was gonna go, like if I was gonna like it or all that. But at that point, I just needed to get my mind off of school and basketball and all that since I could no longer do that. So I feel like that was like a big part of me joining PYB. What roles have you played within the organization up to this point? Um, I started off as a normal intern. You know, I went to some business meetings with Kenny and Eric. Um, then I transitioned to the middle school partnership program where I was a coach slash mentor. I was in the classroom and on the court coaching. Um, and from there I transitioned to the summer camp series where I was a camp uh, counselor for two years. Um, and then now I'm transitioning now I'm a corporate and camp. So I'm getting a feel for basically like all the elements of what PYB is. And at the middle school partnership program and at the summer camps, in what ways have you been able to build relationships with the kids in the program? I've had a lot of relationships, you know, I still talk to some to this day, um, check in on them, see how they're doing, and just being there for them, you know. It's like some kids, they don't have that mentor presence in their life, so I want to make sure that, I guess, I can be an outlet to them and make sure they have someone to talk to, whether it's about life, basketball, school, um, whatever they need. So I feel like I've made a lot of connections with a lot of kids in the organization. Is there one relationship in particular that you were able to build with a with a student athlete that you particularly cherish or, or that means a lot to you? Um, they all mean a lot, but I've made a relationship with um, this, I guess he was an old student. His name was Harrison. He, he lives in Chicago now, but we always keep in touch. You know, I trained him um, for a couple weeks and he's going into his sophomore year. I'm pretty sure. Um, so I made a big connection with him, still in touch. Um, he's just, I don't know, he's just been cool to, I guess, get to know over the past couple of years and see him grow like in high school from basically middle school to high school. It's just been crazy to see like his growth and his um, yes resilience. Back to you, how has PYB helped you to grow as a person, mentor, and leader? How's it grown? Um, it's helped me a lot. You know, like I said before, it's. It was a tough time when I got involved with PYB. Um, just, it was able to keep me going, I guess you can say, because I was in a bad place mentally. Um, and just coming out and seeing the kids every day, seeing them smile and playing and trying to do something that I love. Um, it was really beneficial for me. It was eye-opening just to see like how, I guess how they wanted to learn like the game of basketball. And it was just, it was just, I don't even know how to, like, words to like describe it. It was just, it meant a lot to me just to be able to be there with them and be there for them and just, you know, just work with them and just get to know them. So it was just, it meant a lot to me. It's kind of hard to say, like kind of put in words. And you're one of few PYB staffers that have been with the organization since the beginning. Mm -hmm. So in the last three years, how have you seen the organization grow and evolve into what it is now? Uh, we started in a little in a little room. I remember when Kenny first showed me the office, I don't know if you can call it an office, but on the 48th floor of the uh, Mellon Center. It was just this little room that they, you can see, they just gave it to us because we wanted to start up the organization and to see like how far we've come. We've started the Middle School Partnership Program, the Collegiate Summer Camp Series. It's just eye-opening to see, like now we have an actual office with staff and all that. So it's it's just eye-opening to see like how far we've come because it was a struggle just even going to the meetings to try to gain the facilities like LaSalle or St. Joe's or Drexel just going to those meetings and like offering a pitch to like what we want to do for the collegiate summer camp series it was it was a lot of time it was like time consuming a lot of time commitment and it was just trying to get our name off the ground you know we started um, I guess not at the bottom but just like no one really heard of us and now like we're making moves and getting our name out there and a lot of people are starting to notice like what we're trying to accomplish so um, I've seen a lot of growth over this past three years. 
In what ways do you believe PYB can impact the lives of young people in either similar or different ways than it has to that of your own? Um, definitely just being there for the kids, you know, um, having that mentor in their life could definitely help them out. That's the feeling. Like, for me, I didn't have, I guess, say that mentor I could go to. It was just my mom. So, um, that's someone I guess that's like not an adult yet, but when they're working on their, like, I guess going through stages to be an adult, I guess you can always have that person there to help or just be there for them. Um, and just academic piece, we've never had camps where I'm from that offered academics and basketball, so that's completely different. When I was growing up, it was just strictly basketball camps. Um, so that's a neat component that PYB has. Um, it's just like a whole lot, I guess you can say, as far as like development and growth for kids. Over the last three years, do you have a favorite PYB memory? Favorite PYB memory? I have a lot of memories. Um, I would say my favorite would probably be every day during the just any time I would walk into a PY event, a PY event, a PYB event where there were students, um, just seeing their faces, you know, seeing them come in, just smiling, smiling at you, smiling at them, just, so that's like always, I'm just like, we go to any event now, just seeing the kids and smiling, happy to see you, you have to see them, and just ready to start the day, so I mean, that's probably one of my favorite memories. Well, thank you, Antonio, and uh, PYB is lucky to have you as a part organization, and these kids are lucky to have you as a mentor in their lives. And um, I hope that, that you can stay involved and continue to impact the lives of kids in Philadelphia and across the country and around the world.